Matchroom introducing yet another tremendous star, GB star, to the roster in Cyrus Patterson. Your opponent will be joining you later today. Wanted to get you up here to talk about this big moment, turning professional, been part of that GB squad for a long time. You made the decision quite a while ago now to go pro. You, like many fighters, have been frustrated with, with COVID and waiting yeah. for that opportunity, but great timing. It comes in Newcastle on Saturday night, ready to start your pro campaign. It's an uh, amazing feeling like we're finally here. We've been waiting for about a year now with the COVID situation. Uh, I was absolutely devastated when the COVID kicked in because the opportunity to make the debut in Newcastle last time out was taken away, but it feels like the stars are aligned and we're back here in Newcastle and the debut is still on. You look at the GB fighters that have come out of, of many of these cycles. I mean, of course, 2012, you know, Callum Smith, uh, Cal Yafai, Luke Campbell, Anthony Joshua are all going on to win world titles as well. You go to 2016, you know, Joshua Boatze, uh, Joe Caldina, Anthony Fowler, Lawrence Acoli winning a world yeah. title. And now you're the part of that new cycle coming through. But what we notice about all those fighters is the experience they have when they turn pro. And you'll know, having travelled around the world, you've got to feel like someone that's sort of already had six, seven, eight fights as a pro. Definitely like their uh, experience, second and on, all them times of turning up at competitions and stuff and fighting these world-ranked opponents and Olympic medalists and European medalists. Uh, like I say, you can't get that experience else, elsewhere in the world. And obviously the training camps we've got a factor in as well. Going to Kazakhstan and spawn six rounds with 30 seconds rest with fresh opponents. Me and Pat McCormack getting absolutely pushed against the ropes. Like so, it uh, matures you as a person and uh, it excels you in your experience as well. We've got to take you at the right pace, but also at the same time, to, to stand out as a fighter these days, you've got to move a little bit quicker than most. I think I look at some fighters, I think Dalton Smith is a good example, yeah. who is all of a sudden looking like someone Very that well. could win British and European titles as well. We know you're going to have those three, four, five fights, but is that something you want to try and do, bearing in mind your experience, to move quite quick, quickly as a pro? Yeah, definitely. It's something that we both discussed uh, before the debut came about, that uh, we didn't really want uh, to take the four round, which a lot, I mean a lot of boxers usually take and, and sometimes take a, an opponent with a, a losing record or wanted someone with over six rounds winning record who's going to come bring the fight with us and that's something that I'm used to and I think that's going to show the best out of us. And finally obviously very blessed and lucky to be part of a big resurgence of North East Boxing, some of the best fans in the world yeah. as well but what should they expect from Cyrus Patterson in terms of style, in terms of excitement as you start this journey? Uh, I'm a humble person, like so. I just I think that they'll expect a good night and a good performance. Well, we look forward to seeing the journey begin for you on Saturday. Unfortunately for you, you're going to have the customary handshake photo up here with me because that's yeah. one for the office. So, up we go. Perfect.